How's it going guys? My name is Julian. Welcome back to the workshop. In this one what we're going to be doing is whipping up that secret sauce that is the mullet drivetrain. What is the mullet drivetrain you ask? Well it's exactly that. It's business up front and it's potty in the back. It's a road set of shifters with a mountain bike derailleur. It's that, that shifter derailleur combo that just is not meant to mix. So this, this, isn't, this isn't a new idea by any means. They, they're quite big in the gravel and touring scenes it's it's anywhere where you want to have the kind of the comfort and uh, sleekness of the drop bar setup but also want the robustness and the big gear ratio of the mountain bike group set without having to break the bank for one of those dedicated gravel group sets right so there are some products on the market already that can help us solve this problem uh, for example the wolf tooth campaign they're, they're, they're pretty cool products, they, they do their job, but what I kind of find is that they're quite specific. So the Wolf Tooth Tampan only works with Shimano derailleur and shifter and it only does 10 and 11 speed. And it also costs 100 bucks for me to get it here in New Zealand. So what I'm thinking is, what if you could take any derailleur and any shifter, any brand, any model, and just bang them together with a little thing in between and, and make it work? Let me show you how I did it. Let's just open this up quick and have a quick look. So pretty much how every shifter works is that there's a barrel inside that turns and pulls the cable just a little bit each time you click. And each time you do that, this cable then pulls your derailleur up to that next set of gears. So all we have to figure out is how much each shifter moves and then make a little converter that translates this one to the new derailleur. Easy. So how we work out what the distance is that this one shifts is that I got the cable in it and I'm going to shift all the way up to the top. To there, I'm then going to take this piece, a little piece of tape and I'm going to put it right up against the top. And I'm going to shift back down and you should see that cable start to come out. Once I'm at the bottom, I can then use my calipers and measure that distance. 32.5. And then I'm going to repeat this with the other shifter. So in our case, it's the 105s that are on the bike. And then I'm going to take those measurements and bring them into the parametric model that I've designed in Fusion. Right, so jumping into Fusion 360, if, if this isn't something that you're super confident in, it might be a little bit daunting, but I'll try and make it as simple as possible. Fusion 360 is a free software that people can use to do some 3D modeling. Um, you can see here that we've got a holder where you've got an input and an output. This output will hold the tumbler that you can adjust the gears later. And then you've got a, I call it the spinner. This has got two parts. so where your input comes, this is how much that shifter moves, and then this is how much it needs to pull the derailleur in the second ring. So what happens is it kind of comes around, comes down there, and then out the back. Make sense? Where the powerful thing comes, and the whole point of this whole video, is that it's all parametrically controlled. So if we go into change parameters, you'll see here that we've got a measurement for our shifter, and we've got a measurement for our derailleur. So that, that derailleur that we measured was 32.5. So if I come in here, I change this 35.8 to 32.5, push enter, and you'll see that it real time updates the whole model for the one that we're doing. This means that we can put any measurement we want in there and you know combine any derailleur and shifter combo. It's pretty mint. Once you've done with all that, you can come over here and save out each individual thing and uh, bang it on the printer. Sweet, so that's your final product all put together right there. You've got a spinny thingy and a holder with a M4 bolt that goes right the way through and fixed on the other side. I've got a little Allen key tightened grab bolt almost. It's got a little washer and a spring that will grab the cable as it goes through. And then I've got your normal little tumbler on this side that fixes in there with a, I think it's an M5. Pretty simple. Let's bung it on the bike. 
Okay, so here you can see I've got my 105 shifters. I've already put the cable through the shifter itself and I've got a little cable that comes to there, a little cable housing that comes to there. I've then got the rest of the cable housing that goes all the way to the back where the derailleur is. Pretty much where this is going to sit is in line in between the two. I'm going to feed that through and then it goes down through this little hole that goes onto the second second circle. Okay, it goes down underneath the washer and I can pull that tight and there's a little area there where I can locate that that circle, the spinner, is in the right position and then I can tighten that up. Making sure it's nice and tight and in the right spot, I can then tighten the grab bolt down really tight on that cable. Next what I can do is I can feed the rest of the cable through my little tumbler down the rest of the housing and then adjust my gears accordingly. Simple as that. Sweet, so that worked a treat. This uh, the system's a little bit finicky to get right in the beginning. You might have to do a couple prints, just getting that measurement absolutely perfect. Um, but in saying that, it, it's it's working pretty good. This whole video is kind of giving away a little bit on what one of my later videos is going to be doing. Um, if you're familiar with my channel, you know I do these kind of cool little bike builds, and this is going to be one of them. So if you're interested in seeing this. Make sure you stick around and hit that subscribe button. Uh, yeah, I'll also in that video be giving an update on this whole system and what I've found and what, you know, if anybody else has tried it, make sure you let me know and uh, we'll get into it. But other than that, thanks for watching. Thanks for sticking around. I'll probably put, YouTube will give you a video that you might like over here and uh, I'll see you next time.